Hi, I'm Debbie and welcome to my channel Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today I'm reading for the astrological sign of Virgo from December 17th through the 31st. This is for ascending, rising, and or moon. Remember this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with all of you. I just say take what you like, leave the rest. Now also too I want to thank everyone who has subscribed and who has commented uh, who has liked. I really appreciate it. it. It warms my heart. Thank you so much for that. If you haven't already, then just go below and just, they're down there. Yeah, no, oh, no, over there, there. And just click on the subscribe button. This allows you then to know if there's any more updates or when I post new videos. And I hope you do the thumbs up. If you don't like this, then let's stop. You can find another reader who might serve you better. There's a lot of very talented people out there. So let's start again. I'm going to be using my um, Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I will use my Psychic Tarot Oracle cards and my Osha Zen Tarot cards. So let's start with our Doreen Virtue. So with Virgo, 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 December 17th through the 31st, end of the year. What's going on for our Virgos? They've been coming kind they've been on their way up out of the slump. A lot of my earth signs have been in a very bad slump. And you guys have been fighting your way up and digging and clawing. Things have been getting better. Okay. Let's see. There's one card that jumped. Any other cards are jumping? Okay, you, you want to come out. One more card. How about one more card? One more card. One more card? Okay. Okay, I'll take you. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Okay, first card that came out that jumped was the Ten of Water, which is the Ten of Cup. Cups. Okay, and that one tells us that it's a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met. Trustworthy relationships. So right there it tells me that some good stuff is happening for the end of this year. You, you know, of course, you know, holiday parties, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, um, just general. You know, you're going to be around people. You're going to have fun. You're going to just have a great time with them. Um, you know, this is the time that you actually... Actually, this is the time that you've organized these parties and you enjoy then watching as everybody else has fun. But at the same time that you're watching, you are socializing. You know, you're, you're making sure, but your eyes are kind of making sure is the, is the you know, are the drinks still out there? It, you know, does the punch bowl need to be filled? Do we need any more appetizers? Is everybody eating enough? Are they talking? Things like that. You know, you are that person that you are this, um, I feel like, what is it? The social secretary. Um, though um, I don't want to call you a secretary, but social. You know, you're you're the social person. You're the person that. And even though you may not want to be out in that spotlight, you want to make sure that everybody is being taken care of and that they are all having a good time at the parties that you have organized. Does that make sense? You know, that that's what I see about you. Ace of Water. Nice card. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, enhanced intuition, a new home. So somebody might be buying a new home, you know, coming down where it's like, yeah, you know, let's talk about it. Let's do this. I'm also feeling too, I'm really feeling that there is going to be a lot of love in these last two weeks. You're going to actually feel pretty pleased about where you're at. And you've been having a little trouble with that because you, you haven't really been sure what you want to do. It's like, what do I want to do when I grow up? You've been kind of going back and forth. But I think that these last two weeks, I'm not sure if you've actually settled that or not in your mind. But I think that whatever it is, you've just kind of put that inside and you're going to say, I'm just going to enjoy this time. I think you're realizing that your time, that time in itself is valuable and that we don't have a lot of time to waste and our time needs to be spent with the people we love. Okay, now this last one, let's see what this is. Five of Fire. Okay. 
competing goals, bothersome detail, conflict with others. So while all of these things are in your heart, there are going to be those nagging little things. So basically, as you're getting feeling very good about organizing whatever it is that you're organizing, there is going to be work saying to you, well, yes, but we need this done by this time. And also, you know, um, people coming to you and say, well, is this, is this report ready? Things like that. And at the same time, you're like, but I want to concentrate on the happy stuff and you're giving me this work. And it's not that this happy stuff isn't work to you because it is work. It's just that your mindset, I really feel like you are in a, I mean, I feel like your mindset is, is in a more relaxed place and these people are bothering you. It's like, you know, don't they understand? I can get that work done. That work is nothing to me. I want to now enjoy my time. You know, so, you know, they're, they're always going to be the little, the little ones that nag you. There will always be that in life itself. But I really see these last two weeks being just a really joyful, playful time for you. You know, I mean, your, your relationships, relationships are going to be happy. You're, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good last couple of weeks. I really can't tell you too much about that. Okay, let's, I'm just feeling kind of, you know, I'm feeling happiness. So, I'm going to my Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards. I mean, that Five of Fire, I don't like fives because that usually means change of some sort. But in this case, I think it's just that they're trying to get you out of your, your happy mood. I mean, you know, and a lot, some people, you know, there are those Scrooges out there. Some people do not like people to be happy. And Virgos, I feel like you're going to be really happy this, these last two weeks. I hope so. Okay, Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. I like you. You were kind of Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Okay, we'll shuffle. We, we've shuffled. We're going to cut. Actually, we're going to take this off of here. So, along with, even though they don't fall directly, but it does go under our Ten of Waters, we have Love Begins. So, Virgo, you're going to be putting out so much good cheer that there's not, I mean, it's going to be hard for people not to love you. Because you're just going to be in this, half, I mean, it's like your pheromones, your, your um, endorphins, whatever it is. It's just they're so high and they're so up. If you've gotten all your presents stuff, you know, wrapped, you're you're just in such a good mood. It is wonderful to see that. You feel like things are starting to come. Yeah, think you're just in a great mood. Trapped in fear. What the heck is this about? Let's see what this next one says. Light. So with this is, while you're having your good mood, sometimes you have to actually work at being in your good mood, don't you? So sometimes you're putting your, you know, you're, you're, you're saying, no, I'm not going to face what I have to face. I'm going to go forward. I'm not facing that. And you know what? Sometimes faking it till you making it, till you make it, that's the way to go with that. I'm kind of looking at, though, is why do we have that trapped in fear when you're in such a good mood? Now, I know we have the five of fire, and you have your competing goals, bothersome details, conflict with others, but this seems more than that. And it's surrounded by love begins trapped in fear, but then you have light. So let, let's go on to our last cards to see, or let, let me ask one more question on this. Why is this trapped in fear here? Because I don't see why, what, what's going on with that. Can you tell me, Virgo, what's going on with that? Oh, okay. There's a new beginning for you. Maybe this is why you're in such a good mood. Maybe this is why you're so happy. There's a new beginning coming and you know it. Now, you may not necessarily know it because somebody's told it to you, but you know it in your heart. You know you're making changes. 
And, and maybe that's why the five of fire, I told you, five is changes too. And that's why you're trapped in fear because you are going, but yet you're excited about this. You're going on a new beginning. You're going into a new beginning. And now this is, and again, if, if you've seen this new beginning, if I've read your cards or you've seen this on other videos, I love this woman. I love her. Look at her. She is setting out on a journey. She's got horrible shoes. She's got sandals on. She's got this little spear. She's got her purse. And, you know, and I always say that she also needs a good bra. But look at that determination on that face. She's going to make it. This person, is, this woman is going to make it. She is going into her new beginning, and she is going to make it. So a lot of the things, Virgo, that you've been leading up to are finally coming. It's so I'm thinking that maybe this happiness is like, you know, okay, I'm leaving this all behind me, and I'm now, you know, I have my, I now know that I'm starting my new beginning. Because, you know, at the same time, though, it scares you because it might be something totally, totally different. I, I was telling somebody recently that just doing this was scary, but yet it was a new beginning, and it was something that brings, brings me joy, okay? So I'm not saying that you're going to be doing this. I'm not saying you can't do this, what I'm doing, but it's like something that you weren't doing before. I mean, your skill sets will all come over to whatever it is that you're doing, whatever it is this new beginning is. Your skill sets... And Virgo, you've got great skill sets. They will transfer to this new whatever this is. Is this a new relationship? Well, the 10, you know, what was it? The Ace of Water said it could be a new relationship. Was this a new home? Well, it could be a new home. Was this a new job? Yes, it could be a new job. It could be all of these new things. So as you're coming to the end of something and you're just so, you know, and it's Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and just holidays and you're just feeling really really happy there's that, that there's that scared person in you still because right around that corner is that new beginning but it's surrounded by you know that fear was surrounded by love and light so it's all going to be really good and whether you're male or female that face of determination Virgo you are doing it okay you are going. So let, you know, so the fear might actually help you to motivate you to continue on your course. And you've been, those are things that have been changing, but do it. Do it. Just do it. I was telling somebody that just recently. Just do it. Okay. Thank you that. Thank you for that clarification on that. Okay. My um, Osha Zen Tarot cards. Any last words for our Virgos? Any last words for our Virgos? Any pieces of advice? Last words of advice? But I, I really, I mean, your, your joyfulness is going to be so, and maybe it's because you've, maybe because you have the new relationship, maybe because you've left an old relationship, maybe because you're getting a new job and you've left the old job. But it's like, I mean, it's just, I love the, I love the energy that I'm getting from you, Virgo. I love the energy. And... Let's see. Okay, nothing's come, nothing's popping, but so let's do a little and see what we have. Three cards. Three cards down. Again, we have the fool. Okay? The fool, the new beginning. These are the same cards in traditional tarot. Okay? You are starting something brand new. And you are you are joyful about it. You are the rebel. People may not understand your decisions. People may not may not agree with what you're doing. It may not make sense, and you know, it may not make sense in you know in the long term. But you know in your heart it's what you need to do. Now let's see what this last card is. This was reversed. Compromise. You are done compromising. I feel that this means, I feel you are done. You, no more compromising. You know, you want to live your life. You want to have that joy. You want to have that happiness. And you are done. You are now. 
on your new journey. You have your, let's go the other way. You have your new beginning. You are the fool heading out. He is, the fool is, the fool is confident. The fool has joy. The fool says, I can do anything. The new beginning, this woman says, I don't care if I need a new bra. I can go and do anything. I know I get fixated on that piece on her. But I love this. I love these two cards. And you're coming out with, you know, love begins, light. And such a joyful last couple of weeks in, uh, now, this five of fire, if you are, if you are quitting a job or if you are, you know, changing something like that, you know, or getting a new house and, you know, those things can be things that are just irritants of that moment. But you're done. You're done compromising. You're done settling. You now are going for what you want. And that's what it should be, right? You should go for what you want. We only go through this life once. Go for what you want. Okay? So, if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Hanukkah, Happy Hanukkah. If you celebrate Kwanzaa, Happy Kwanzaa. If you don't celebrate anything per se, then I hope that the holidays itself just gives you a feeling of goodwill and, good, and joy in your spirit. But I want to thank you for watching, and I just want to let you know you are loved and you are blessed. Bye-bye.